Okay, so I want to be an animator. I made this cartoon. I was I hired, I got some of my friends, the theater majors, to um, to voice some of the, um, some of the characters, and I was cool. directing them. So this is a directing question, actually. I'm kind of you know getting perspective on this. Um, so I, I was never really happy with how they sounded fine. They were they, they did well. I love them as performers, um, but there's something missing. And I didn't realize until a couple of weeks or like a month later, I was listening to Rob Paulson's podcast, and I think he had it was like a celebration of uh, Gordon Hunt's career. Mm -hmm. And he said this thing that really stood out to me, and it made a lot of sense that um, you can act bad, just say it fast. And it occurred to me that that's what it was. Um, and I wanted to know um, how how do you get that performance um, out of well, from my perspective as an as an amateur cattle prods. From, uh, from how do you get that? How do you get that performance from them um, without like insulting them? Because you know it was fine. They did. They said how, how I wanted them, but it just it didn't have that intensity that I needed. And um, how how do directors get that out of you if you're not up that day or um, or how? What's the? Mm, Take a uh, breath. Yeah. You want to get you, someone you to say, You want to be able to direct and be blunt without having the guy go, "What an asshole." Yes. Okay. Then, then talk to then talk to them the way you'd want to be spoken to. That was great. Faster, funnier. That was that was you. You say that was perfect. Let's do it faster and funnier. You say that I was perfect. I always try and find. I always try and find the kindness in the truth. Yep. You know what's the kindest way I can say that that line sucked. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I had a job once and the direction was really, really, really strange. I was an adult telling a child that their parents just died in an accident, but the director wanted me to be happy about it. <laughs> and it was very awkward and I ended oh. up being totally honest with you. I didn't hit it. The producer was from India. The director was in a hard place between the, the, the producer and the actor. And I got fired. And I ran into the director a couple of months ago, and it was very awkward for them for a moment. And I said, no, nah, man, you got to understand. I'm there to do my job. I'm there to get you what you need. So if you sensed any frustration from me, it wasn't at you. And it wasn't at the producer. It was at me not giving you what you asked for. My job is to lift whatever you give me. Just tell me you need me to do it. And, and I've also found in my career that if you tell me the motivation, if you tell me what's going on in the interior, my feelings, the character, I'll get there performance-wise. Don't, don't give me a line reading. Don't say, no, it's like this. Blah! You know, it's like, help me get the interior there. So tell your actors about their interior life. That, and, and Sue nailed it. Don't spare anybody's feelings. Be honest. I mean, be respectful. You don't have to be a, a jerk about it. You know, they're doing this for you. They're helping you get your project off the ground. Respect that. But they also want to give you the performance. Trust me, any actor who gets hired wants to do the job. We are thoroughbreds. We want to run. Cool, there thanks. You go. Good one. <laughs> I'm not even going to speak to that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> thanks.